I learned as a kid that if I wanted to get the attention that I wanted, the love that I wanted, I had to do more. And here's what I see, particularly I see this happening um, in very much in family-owned businesses, in, in that, that, that business families who have got multi-generational situations going on. But I also see it in executives. There's this sense of I've got to do more that somehow more is better. And, and the problem with it is that it's held in a paradigm that's not present. Meaning it's, it's a belief system that was somehow integrated as a kid, but actually has nothing to do with us as, as adults. In fact, when I bring this up with my clients, the people I work with, and there's a pause, as you can imagine, because they can see that that's what they're doing. And the pause is this moment of realization that 20 things looks better, that 20 things is a better story, it gets more applause, it gets more recognition, it gets more attention, that they're running that same thing that I was running as a kid, that I continued to run in businesses and in relationships. And I had to stop and ask, whose attention am I trying to get by being crazy busy? Why is it not okay? Why does it say something negative about me if I take down downtime to refuel? And so that's my question to you. It's to challenge you to look at how are you refueling? Are you refueling? Or are you in the business of being busy? Are you doing busyness? Are you trying to impress rather than being present with? That's the difference. Like what will happen if you actually just stop trying to impress? Listen, your employees, the people you work with, your team members, the people in your organization, your children, your partners in life and in business, we all want the same thing. We all want to know that we're loved and appreciated. That's a human piece. It's not bad. Just a fact. We want that. When everybody's trying to impress you, and you're trying to impress everybody, if you really want to impress people, stop taking on so much. Come back to center. Get yourself centered and decide right there how you can be fully present with something because the love and the attention that you really want will best be delivered to you by being present.